Sleep apnea is rotting your teeth even if you're using a CPAP because when you wake up, your mouth feels like it's dry like the Mojave Desert. Not only is it uncomfortable, not only is it a sign of bad breathing, it's also a sign that your saliva has all dried up. And saliva is important because it helps keep the pH, you know, like acid base balance, it keeps the pH higher for you. And if it's too low, then your mouth is now acidic. And not only will that erode away at some of the teeth, but it will also start to bring in or allow bad bacteria to take hold and again, help with teeth rotting. And that's why when you look at the research in people sleep apnea, they are more likely to have dental cavities and require dental surgery. So beyond the obvious, getting a wish from a genie to get rid of sleep apnea once and for all, we'll talk about that later, you wanna take some measures to help protect your dental health. So here are some top things that I recommend to people. So, and of course, always talk to your doctor, your dentist, and your shaman for any changes to anything you're ever doing. So number one, vitamin K2. That's because that will actually reduce the plaque formation. Number two, some sort of herbal-based mouthwash because when you use an alcohol-based one, it actually makes the problem worse because alcohol kills the all the bacteria pretty much, whereas a herbal-based one will actually be a lot more beneficial. And number three, yeah, you want to improve your breathing pattern by practicing slow breathing exercises just before you go to bed. So it resets your breathing. So breathing normally through your nose is going to work a lot better than as a result, your teeth, your sleep, and hopefully your life are a bit happier. Follow for more sleep apnea insights and then get the free guide at apneareset.com.